Susan Holguin loves to garden, but don't take my word for it. It um, makes me feel connected and the problems of the world disappear when I'm out in my garden. During the Christmas blizzard, Holguin says her garden at her home in East Amherst took a hit. She says there's probably several hundred dollars in damage. Flowering plants that I've had for years are all broken down and everything. Holguin knows those will need to be replaced, so she's here at Plantasia, the lawn and garden show at the Hamburg Fairgrounds to get some ideas. But perhaps damage to your lawn isn't as cut and dry. Roger Restorf owns Restorf's Landscape Service. How do you know what to repair versus what to replace? A general rule of thumb, if it's broken and you can see where it's snapped off, then you're, you're going to probably have to replace it. If it's just bent over, then you may want to just take it and uh, tie it up and you know, maybe six months from now it, uh, it, it will survive. Restorf says even though spring is around the corner, it's best to wait on most all pruning, with the exception of ornate grasses. Those can be trimmed now. Now would be a perfect time for that. And again, we're not concerned with potential frost or anything like that. That shouldn't play a factor in your decision. No, it shouldn't. As long as the plant's hardy for this area, you shouldn't have any issues with that at all. The bottom line here, be patient and wait a few weeks. Experts say you don't really want to plant any type of bulb either. The daytime temperatures are okay. It's the evening ones that are still problematic. Allie Tui News 4.